As the sun rose over Stansted Airport this morning, the first British Red Cross plane with aid from the UK was packed up, bound for the Philippines. Boeing 747s don't carry passengers from Stansted. This cargo will help charity staff set up a support unit. 85 metric tonnes of equipment is being sent out to the Philippines. Everything from generators to bikes, tents, office equipment and even a Land Rover. We have this equipment uh, prepared in a warehouse that we're able to rapidly deploy. We also train the teams on this equipment year round. So we have uh, uh, the ability to get a team out within 24 to 48 hours and the gear out within 72. Loading up the plane requires thought. It must be evenly balanced. Despite its huge size, moving cargo inside is a delicate matter. So I often go in there when it's empty so you could, you could actually play a game of five-side football inside. Uh, it's capable of carrying in excess of 125 tonnes and it is 5.6 metres longer than the previous 747 we used to operate. It's a lot of equipment being moved, but the humanitarian crisis is huge. 2,000 were killed, 2 million have been left homeless in the Philippines by Typhoon Haiyan, but the effects have been felt much further afield. Nurses at Luton Hospital are holding a 24-hour candlelit vigil. I think mostly the people back home were not so prepared because I don't think they understand what was the storm surge means. I think they were also thinking that it's just an ordinary typhoon that they normally experience just like before. Also supporting the aid effort are Colchester-based firm Lifesaver Systems. Their warehouse is now empty of their water purifying jerry cans. You simply put the water in, you give it a few pumps, turn the tap and out comes sterile drinking water. Within 72 hours we've emptied our entire warehouse of Lifesaver jerry cans. That's on a plane out to the Philippines now. Many more planes will be heading to the Philippines taking vital aid. More time and effort will be spent here trying to help those in need and hoping for their situation to improve. Luke Farrington, ITV News, Stansted Airport.